Hello again everyone, this is Rudolph Wilkins with Forgotten Fitness and I am so excited to discuss with all of you Course 1 from Your Key to Broad Shoulders by Bill Pearl and Leo Stern. As a bodybuilder, the only way to really look impressive and be perceived as big is by having a wide upper body. Some guys are blessed with a wide shoulder width and have to do very little to create this illusion, while others are less fortunate and have to work much harder. Even those with top tier genetics can benefit from having capped and developed deltoids. This program provides a simple yet effective selection of exercises to improve upper body width and enhance aesthetic appeal in everyone. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this particular exercise routine, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And with all that out of the way, I hope you all enjoy this video. This program can be found on page 18 of Your Key to Broad Shoulders. In bodybuilding, broad shoulders are admired by everyone and help display strength and masculinity. Those who lack a wide clavicular structure naturally may obtain this look through developing the deltoid muscles instead. The course in this video is designed for individuals who have been training for several years, and novice lifters are encouraged to perform no more than one set of each exercise. Course 1 will be performed for 6 weeks before moving on to the more advanced workouts, which will not be discussed in this video. To balance the body, use the following shoulder specialization program in combination with Mr. Pearl's full body routine found in Building Bulk and Power. Sets and reps may be added or reduced based on which part of the deltoid needs the most work. If pain occurs during training at any point, cease the current exercise and find one that does not cause any discomfort. Remember that these muscles are very small, so concentration during exercise in combination with proper form is essential for growth in this area. And most importantly, don't get sloppy. You will follow this routine for six weeks and perform three workouts a week. The following names of these exercises are those that Bill Pearl used in his booklet, but not necessarily the ones I would refer to them as. The first exercise is the standing military press for three sets of between eight to 10 reps. Then the medium grip barbell upright row for three sets of between eight to 10 reps. Following this, you will have the seated back supported palms in dumbbell press for three sets of eight. And finally, the bent over head supported dumbbell rear deltoid raise for three sets of eight reps. Now I will demonstrate the exercises for you. The first exercise here is the standing military press, which is not too common in gyms nowadays. Essentially, you'll have a moderately heavy barbell that you will place on against your chest while standing erect, and then you will press it overhead generously in a controlled fashion. You will then rest it against the pecs, the upper pecs on the chest, and then press again for the prescribed number of reps. This is a really fantastic exercise and can just build general strength and power in the upper body. It's one I quite enjoy and would definitely recommend to all of you even if you're not performing this routine. On to exercise number two. Exercise number two is the medium grip barbell upright row, which in my opinion is one of the best mass builders for the shoulder. I will say that a lot of new fitness gurus are telling their clients not to perform this exercise because it can create quote unquote shoulder impingement problems. Now, while I do think there is some validity to this if you have unhealthy shoulders, perhaps where they're slightly arthritic, or you've had a shoulder injury in the past in the deltoid, I don't think for most people this will be a problem, but your mileage will vary, and I definitely think you need to try this exercise out with lightweight before you th even think about considering more heavier poundage. This exercise is really fantastic and a staple to most gym goers. In Bill Pearl's variation here, he recommends keeping the barbell very tight to the body until the barbell touches the chin or is right below the chin, where you will take a brief second pause and then return the weight to the starting position. This is a really good exercise that I think all of you should perform, and if you're doing this routine, you should work up to pretty heavy poundage. It's one of those exercises that can really put on a lot of size very fast. On to exercise number three. 
Exercise number three is the seated back supported palms in dumbbell press, which is essentially just a seated shoulder press. Now I'm not lying on a 90 degree uh, bench here or sitting against one. Instead I have the bench slightly inclined for comfort so it doesn't put as much stress on the shoulder joint itself. And I'm making sure to keep those palms in, the dumbbells are real tight to the body. And the elbows should be falling on the descent right in line with the body. They should not be popping out at all. You want to keep all that pressure right on the shoulder, uh, the deltoid muscle itself. And then you'll press up to the top and return the weight to the starting position. Make sure to have a full lockout and a full descent pause at the bottom. And then uh, when you're doing your reps, make sure to keep the tempo kind of smooth and don't go too fast, don't go too slow. At any point, if the weight becomes too heavy, on the following set, make sure to decrease the weight to something a bit more comfortable. Now we will move on to the final exercise in this routine. The final exercise here is quite unique. It is the bent over, head supported dumbbell rear deltoid raise. So it's a rear delt raise, but you have your head against a bench or something slightly below your hip level. So you should be slightly um, declined here with your head lower than where your hips are. Of course, you'll have a pretty strong base here. And then you want to make sure that your elbows are flared out and that when you bring the dumbbells up, they should end up, uh, the top part of the bell should end up near ear level, so slightly above your shoulder level. On this one too, you want to make sure that the weight is pretty light and that you're going through the full range of motion and that the tempo is pretty slow. You want to isolate the rear delts and not make it so you're jerking up at all. It should be a controlled movement the entire time. And that is all I have for you today. That is Course 1 from Your Key to Broad Shoulders by Bill Pearl and his coach, Leo Stern. If you have any questions about this routine or if you would like to see Course 2, make sure to leave a comment below and I will get on that as soon as possible. But until next time, this is Forgotten Fitness, signing out. Bye-bye.